So this is kind of like a tiny extra video because last time in my uh, my first video, I said that the next time we'll be learning C and D. I forgot an important part. How to blow into your flute. So I'll be teaching how you hold the flute next time on um, the third video. But this is to tell you how to blow. So um, you kind of have to put there, you put it here right under your bottom lip. Okay, I'm just going to play a C right now, the easiest note. Sometimes if you go like that, you don't blow into it. You don't go like that. You're kissing it. So you want to go not too out or else you can't, you won't blow in there. You want your lips, um, when you blow, um, sometimes you could just hold it with one hand and... You kind of put your hand in front to see if um, when where you're blowing is blowing forward. You want you don't want to blow down. It's not going to work. <laughs> it sounds so funny blowing in there. And so it took me quite a while. Oh. Okay, maybe um, 30 minutes to figure out. It takes, it might take longer. It's just that, um, well, I also learned it online. And I was thinking maybe I could teach people. Blowing high notes isn't that easy. <laughs> I did that on purpose. But, um, because when you blow hard on your B flat. <laughs> oh, you don't want to blow in. Um, when you're breathing, you want to breathe out, like expand your stomach. So, not like this. You want to go like, kind of expand your stomach when you're breathing. Because it gives you a longer note. Like, if I blow up, yeah, breathe up. <laughs> If I breathe out, wait, breathe out means like, expand your stomach. You could sometimes just put your hand there and your stomach to, okay, so breathe out. We'll see you on the next video, the real next video, which you'll be learning your C and Ds. Bye! Oh, wait, just a sec. Always remember to practice. Practice makes perfect!